O oh my father, this is the interpretation of the dream that I had in the very beginning of the sun, the moon and the eleven stars. So the sun was depicting the father of the house. The moon was depicting the mother of the house. And we've got to listen to this carefully. And the stars were depicting the eleven children. If you take a look at the qualities of the sun, strong, powerful, it shines, everyone feels secure in the presence of the sun. We go out, we work, we earn sustenance, we come back, we feel so secure. That is, those are the qualities of the sun. Every father in every home needs to have the qualities that the sun outside has. He needs to present, give the warmth in the house, the sense of security, bring in the sustenance, make everyone feel secure and make them feel well. Don't we feel so good when the sun is out? We run around without any fear. Alhamdulillah. Those are the qualities that Allah has kept in the sun. They are supposed to be in every successful father of every home. The moon, beautiful, you can look at it. MashaAllah, you can admire it. The moon, the light of the moon is solely derived from the sun. Do we know that? The, sh the brighter the sun, the more you see of the moon. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept the example of the moon, the example of the successful mother in the house. The stars who are the children, you don't see them during the daylight. If you look at the sun, you won't be able to see it directly. You will probably need some glasses. That is the respect of the father in the house. Not to say we shouldn't look at him, but we respect him. But when the moon is out, the stars are twinkling, mashallah. It shows the closeness of relation between the children and the mother. Alhamdulillah. Let's try and understand this example. It's a very deep example. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us, successful mothers, amazingly, they should be having the qualities of the moon. Can I give you one more? jewel that we extract the moon goes through a 28 day cycle precisely some days it's not there some days it's there the same applies to a woman she goes through a 28 day cycle some days she is there some days she is not there may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the true understanding wallahi when allah gives an example it is a perfect example that fits and if we think that it is not a perfect example, we need to revisit our intellect because the creator cannot make a mistake. The stars, alhamdulillah, we've seen. Now let me tell you, and we want to end with this. Inshallah, I might mention one verse of Surah Al-Ra'd, seeing that I've taken a little bit more time because it's an interesting surah today. Very interesting. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us yet another example. When we mix the roles, when father wants to play role of mother and mother wants to play role of father, what happens? There is chaos and confusion. They are fighting. The children lose the most. Don't we agree? The children suffer the most because these two have now confused their roles. So when the sun goes into the place of the moon, the moon goes into the place of the sun. We have an eclipse where you can see neither of them. Amazing. And what happens? The stars are nowhere to be seen when there is an eclipse. The same way when we mix up our roles that Allah has given us, we have what is known as a social eclipse, chaos in the house. Allahu Akbar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us from that sign of qiyamah. In the same way that an eclipse is a sign of qiyamah, we are supposed to be engaging in salah and istighfar and tawbah. When the eclipse is there outside, when there is a social eclipse in the house, that is also a sign of qiyamah. We need to be engaging in istighfar and tawbah and salah until the condition returns to normal. That is Surah Yusuf.